Bad Guy here. I want to uh, give you another update. This is Philocam Part 13. Uh, let's look at the current state of the camera. Uh, it, I've uh, reverted to a uh, physical construction mode again, so I don't have any video to show you from the camera, but we are going to wean the camera off of the bench power supply and uh, end up connecting it to its power supply. That was the one that I showed in a series of videos a while back called Let's Build a Power Supply. So let's review some of the uh, progress at this point in the camera. So the first thing is the sink board is up here and is completed as you've seen in the previous videos. Uh, two days ago I completed the functional uh, completion of the deflection yoke scanning board. This drives the horizontal deflection coil, the vertical deflection coil, and the focus coil in the deflection yoke. That is now fully functional. That circuitry takes up half of the board. The other half of the board is where the final video output circuitry will go. So that area has been left clear. I've been working on the I.O. panel on the back of the camera right here and I've added a power input jack which is a 5 pin 270 degree DIN connector. There's a, a, a double pole a single throw power switch which switches off and on plus and minus 15 volts simultaneously. There is a binary coded decimal selector switch which is connected to the sync generator board where it selects either the video pictures in the memory chip or the uh, video from the dissector tube which will be processed in this empty version uh, empty area on the uh, deflection board. The final connector on the I.O. panel is the 4-pin Jones connector, also known as a cinch connector, which will interface to the video process circuitry on the scan board. That leaves now to bring up the image dissector tube the high volt and the high voltage power supply. So briefly going back to the DC wiring harness, the power comes in through this connector, through the switch, down to the set of fuses. I have three fuses here, uh, minus 15 and plus 15 for the scan board and the sink generator board. They're fused separately. The third fuse is for this 12 volt regulator, which is the DC power for the high voltage power supply. In studying the high voltage power supply as designed, uh, if you recall in the last video we were looking at the voltage divider for that, I used 100K resistors. This divider circuit is pulling too much power from my 3 watt power supply. It is pulling the, th the full 3 watts and I've had overheating problems with this enclosure. The power supply can't, can't get any air circulation and it overheats and it shuts down. So I'm going to be doubling the value of all of the resistors in that divider chain in order to cut the power consumption in half. All of the relative voltages will remain constant. That is the voltages that go to the element elements in the tube itself they will all remain the same. A second problem I believe that is happening with my design of my divider chain is that in for me des designing DC circuits I like bypass capacitors. I, I'm a firm believer that more bypass capacitors are better. That may not be the case in the case of uh, a dyno divider string. It's quite possible that the bypassing capacitors that I have put in the divider chain 
to keep the DC clean there may be shunting away the signal from the tube. So the, all of the bypass capacitors on the uh, now 200K series resistors will be removed. In that divider chain, the last three resistors at the positive end of the tube in signal processing photomultiplier tubes, if you look at various schematics, will have uh, parallel resistors across uh, parallel capacitors across the three final resistors. I will be adding those three capacitors experimentally as we develop the video output circuit. So at this point, that is the current status of the PhiloCam for your gratification. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel, if you stumbled on it, uh, Feel free to leave a comment. Definitely click that subscribe button and uh, click the bell so you'll be notified when I do updates. My channel doesn't update very frequently, but I try to put one video out a week at a minimum so that your mailbox will not be bombed with announcements. And uh, keep following this project. Very soon, the PhiloCam camera will be making pictures. So. Until next time, this is Lab Guy, out.